Hello everyone. Um welcome back to God of War. I'm Ranyakumo and today we're going to do a bit of traveling. Because I just remember well we're here anyway. And we have access to a new region, don't we? Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door? Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <sighs> oh, well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was on it before, by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Huh. That's quite interesting. Yeah. What does he think we are, anyone? The area's definitely changed, it's a lot fireier now, but you know, it's still around. Wow. It's hot here. The realm of fire. Is that snow? Ash. It only falls like that for great fires. The whole realm is a great fire. The source of fire itself. And all the sun and stars, if legend is to be believed. Should we believe? I mean, we're here, and we're not on fire. Not yet. Well, you know, I suppose it's cooled considerably since the dawn of creation, hasn't it? <laughs> Nibelheim isn't exactly ice these days, either. It's in the nature of things. Extremes are tempered by time. Fires burn colder, men grow old and grey, heads are chopped off and attached to belts. Such is life. <laughs> uh, okay, Mimir. That's an interesting way to put it. So there are things to find around here. Not that I see anything just yet. You know, besides fire. Hidden area. Must be behind. Okay. Another one here. This one's called Sewer Turk. Must be a fire giant. Aye. The first and original. Makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm. That may be a matter of perspective. Hmm. Yeah, I really should have gotten Mimir a lot sooner, so we would get extra content. Ah. I wonder if the other brother has another quest for me as well. Sure, just climb right next to lava. What could Listen, possibly go wrong? I hear a voice. Another elf? I don't think so. It's coming from up there. Well. Climb we shall, I guess. But first... Let's 
smoldering ember and crest of flame. Also Haxil. Cool. I wonder how underleveled we are for this. Ah, it's gonna be fine, right? Ha. Ah. The voice! It's just around this corner. Oh. It's a great big sword. That it is. It wants to know if we're ready to train? Sure. Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir. Those guys are usually not war. Be nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old <laughs> quickly. I mean, you're not wrong. Smothering and bear. Those are crafting materials. Alright. I could do another round. It says there's another level to this challenge. Harder than before. Be ready, boy. I am.
There we go. Oh no. That's enough. Phew, okay. That was enough. That's all work behind you, brother. Oh great, there's more. <laughs> Oh, you're 
Well, that was a thing. I don't think I'm ready for this one. I'll probably come back and do this one soft screen. Let's take it was one out of six. Yeah. Follow me, Andreas. This is a later thing. I did see there was something else down here, like there was another pathway. Might as well go check it out, right? back home I guess I wonder how does this work here oh hmm. that actually lets me go across interesting Is there any option to change rooms? I completely forgot to check. Uh, nope, no. Oh well, I tried. and Modi. Two bigger twits you won't likely find in the halls of Asgard. They'll do anything their uncle puts them up to. They are fools. Well, dangerous fools, to be sure. When they work together, they're formidable. But too often, it's a petty competition. Terribly strong, even as children. I remember the time Hringyr the Brawler fell upon Thor. Another time, Head. Aww. <laughs> in their stairs. supposed to go hidden chamber hidden chamber ah that other way yeah there's a, a lot of exploring and stuff to do guess we can go that way So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Of course, now the port is slower than hello there. No earthly key nor physical force can get past the magic of that lock. Don't even look at it. 
Hmm. You say that, but there's obviously somewhere to it. Reminds me of something I've seen Tyr sketch. He liked to combine various symbols into runes all his own. This one, I believe, means... Peace, unity, mercy, other things too. I see what he did, but how do we get inside? We have other concerns. <clears throat> Sounds about right. How far does this thing go? All the way around? Wouldn't that be something? Yes, I do believe it just goes all the way around. That doesn't mean anything, does it? There's this. Nothing from me, I don't have one, I guess. Please tell me I won't have to run all the way back around. <laughs> uh... Okay, at least there's a way back up. Locked. Another one of those. And that's a fish. <laughs> that was a fish. Might as well, I guess. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more here now. I'll be sure to check on those later. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances. I'm not to blame that reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir have proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Hmm. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. Took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got, but of course there's more to that story. Hmm. There are whistles. <laughs> All right. What's in here? Besides Luke. Both are free. Are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned. And yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. In the Hell walkers. They plague these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. Oh. These abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. We can we can kill them again. 
Was that one? The storm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to Angor Thor. But his judgment was swift and brutal. He was probably drunk. Doesn't look like... Oh, this is a way back from up there. Okay. That's where we came from, this doesn't live anywhere, so there and I hear a chrome. Oh that's a thing that I'm not sure how to reach. So maybe this will be that way. You still hear a chrome. Must be around here somewhere. I saw that. Hmm. Maybe it was down here? Come on, hurry up. Yeah, I hear him here. Can't see him from here. I can hear it, I just can't see it. It might be down there somewhere. I might need to get the boat around or something. of it. I still hear it. Sorry, boy. Alright then. Maybe it's up here somewhere. this symbol of the fight Freaking crew is gonna hound me forever, is something. I think this is the last one. Might as well, right? Fine. 
There you go. Oh. I'm sure if it's the same one, but it's do stay that one. Completely wombo combo. <laughs> okay, at least I didn't really miss much. Let's kill that thing beforehand this time. Does that make you happy? Hopefully. I think this is the last one. Might as well, right? Fine. Kavikia. Let's say that's a better start. something back there no okay you, I must speak with you so. spirit who wants something from us what's wrong I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen seeking refuge from the desolation okay how could we know it was even worse at the lake of nine we cannot undo your mistake spirit I know that but I fear for my captain and crew I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You had enough. Why didn't you or mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern, nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching Jotunheim. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Come <laughs> on. 
That was brutal. Yeah. A tough fight. Indeed, tough fight is a way to describe that. Okay, so that that one is C. That's the way back down. Okay, so it's just in. Not very calculated, but hey, we got another piece of art. Huh. There's more of that stuff up there. I wonder if we can take it. You know, assuming we can even get up there. I still hear a crow too. So the one that was up there wasn't the other one I was hearing. Okay, so first of all, we can go back down this way. Discovered opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search for Yotenheim long ago. Leave that for the younger, more hopeful men. But I was over eager. And my men paid a heavy price. Hmm. Okay, so whatever he wanted we haven't completed yet. We we did make some loot fall down. Hopefully still around, doesn't seem like it. Okay, so... Ah, probably this one. Okay. I'm pretty sure we made some loot fall over, but... I guess I should have picked it up immediately. Seems to have just gone. Eh. Can't have eaten too important. Boy, what a sad story. Yes. We should help him. Really? You are surprised. Well, yeah. I don't think you'd care about helping a spirit. Fighting more Hellwalkers is good experience for you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. more stuff over there, but I think that gave entrance. Wow. It's like there was an entire city under the water. 
my lad. A forgotten city. What was it called? Now, uh, well, I forgot. <laughs> Perfect. All right, grab this thing. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely Ooh. intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Björgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Björgun was gone, lonely ages passed. And as war with the Vanya raged, I can see what he really wanted in his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Oh, sorry. I did not mean to interrupt it. Okay, so there's another one of those. We're not getting in there without a key. Indeed. I guess this will be for later. So what was it like when Odin and Freya got married? Peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. He won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. <sighs> yeah, that would do it. I hear him. It's probably up there. Time to kill all inside. Out of 51. What else is around here? A chest. More serpent scale fragments. Whatever that leads. And this thing. She's probably going to kick my ass. Let's do it! Oh god, there's two of them. one coming all right well that clearly isn't happening already have that one open let's see what's in here tears braziers a symbol of the light that binds all realms together why would he use those strange rooms, though? Now you mention it, he would be tall. Oh, 
Yeesh, who is this guy and why is he so tall? Yeah, you think? Something tells me I shouldn't be here. Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange rooms, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, let's just not be here. Shortcut. All right, so we're supposed to go that way. I suppose I can humor him. have a lot of XP. I should probably spend it. I should probably have upgraded some of the like runics and stuff. Oh, that's one of those. Oh, it's been 50 minutes already. Okay then. Obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last. Oh. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. 
in a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, hope you all have fun, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.